Ε, θα καλέσω στο βήμα αμέσως τώρα ε, τον εκπρόσωπο της Σλοβενικής Οργάνωσης ε, ε, Σλοβένσικα Φιλανθρώπια προκειμένου να ολοκληρώσει τον κύκλο των εισηγήσεων του λέγοντάς μας μερικές ε, σημαντικές πληροφορίες για το ρόλο του εθελοντισμού και το πώς αυτές οι δράσεις εμπλέκονται ε, οι πολίτες στη χώρα του. Just for being English, no? Uh, everybody speaks English here? Okay. I just have one uh, question. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, I just have one question. Uh, what, in public hospital, in your country, what volunteers can work? What can volunteers do in public hospital in your country? No, no, it's, uh, I'm not possible to answer to this uh, question, but uh, do you want to reply uh, in the, the mayor of Ireland? Yes. It's like in, I don't know, in Greece. Do you have volunteers in public hospital? Yeah. Yeah. save the money. And what's the point? How could we save the money so that we just cut some social benefits out of the people? So let's say that we minor the number of employees in the hospital. And what do we do instead of that? That we are placing their volunteers. So what I'm talking now about is the, the change which is happening in Europe. Which, um, decreasing the social states uh, which have been taking care of us and that more and more care is now put it to volunteers. That volunteers should really react and take care of the people, if it's that fair or not. And in this uh, way we also have uh, professionalization of volunteers. That everything has to be more qualified, it has to be on standards. If one volunteer is working in a hospital in Slovenia, he has to be on training before, even if he's, if he's there just for talking with the people. Um, the second thing which I would like to uh, point out is about the local communities. Um, so in philanthropy, we are working uh, many years with local communities, and uh, three years ago we decided to give the special award. Uh, it's like volunteer friendly municipality in city. And we put in some criteria. First of criteria was that um, they have to finance voluntary program. Um, and in all different areas. Also today what we have been listening, we have listened about social sphere, we have been listening something about sport. What about cultural activities? There is also volunteering very important. That something is happening and we didn't talk at all today about environment. Um, what is also a very important issue. Okay, we talked a little bit about ETP, but um, also, especially in Slovenia, we have the value of a clean country uh, on very high level. This is one of the highest level of Slovenia. So, uh, as me as Slovenia, I'm really, I, I could hardly live in Greece. Um, so, the thing is, uh, what I wanted to say is that volunteering is really spread it in all spheres in our lives. Um, in Slovenia and uh, in everybody. Let's go back to criteria. Um, one of 
criteria which we uh, also put it when the local municipality uh, city finance voluntary project usually they want um, co-financing and if we are talking about a small uh, association small project usually there is no co-financing but voluntary work is co-financing so in Slovenia, many municipalities now do uh, like this that they count. Okay, well, they, in this project it will be done 100 hours of volunteer work. So it means 1,000 of euro of contribution into the project, and that is co-financing which should the project uh, fulfill. Uh, this is uh, not obligatory in Slovenia on local level, but it is obligatory on national level. So when the ministry give the call out, they have to take this as co-financing. And they have to prioritize the project who the projects who involve volunteers. Um, and this is everything written uh, in the law. One another criteria which we gave is that local community offer the place, the infrastructure to uh, voluntary ideas, projects. A place like it's this, uh, which is owned by the city, that it's given for free for ideas, for projects which are happening in the city. This is one of uh, mandatory things and also usually especially in Slovenia there is many buildings who are in a uh, property of local communities which are total empty and in the last uh, years um, local communities decided just to give this um, the, I don't know we got really huge house inside Idana 300 square meters uh, with a huge garden and everything for free because that's that was abandoned. No, the municipality couldn't sell it, it was staying there. So they just gave it to us to use for humanitarian purpose um, and for free. This is something what is also um, important that someone can get um, the, the title city um, friendly to volunteer. And also one another thing there is, do you know when is the 5th of, uh, what is on 5th of December? That it's International Volunteer Day. What is very important is that recognition from mayor and from local municipalities about volunteers, about volunteer initiatives. So in Slovenia, let's say that almost half of municipalities, they invite volunteers or representative of volunteer organizations for a meeting on 5th of December just to say them hello and thank you for everything what you are doing for us for free and this is really important and one another important thing is that local municipality can also organize its own activities um, on a voluntary basis in Slovenia we have the cleaning action. Every spring, every city, every district of the city organize a uh, cleaning action. Invite all the people, so let's go and clean everything. Um, and on the end, they just give it like lunch or some soup to eat, and it's little local uh, entertainment, and everybody's happy. Um, when we talk, when we talk with uh, mayors in um, Slovenia, we are more and more realizing that mayors are still focused on infrastructure as it is like the nice, um, I don't know, nice park, um, the new new road, and so on. But more and more of mayors are realizing that investment in the people is more important, that it's giving more back, that quality of life is more important 
than the really nice road. So um, it's really seen in the cities when where mayors are very connected. Slovenia is very small, and with the municipalities then are also very small. I don't know. It's like sometimes like the town with 3,000 people is already municipality, and they are very well connected to each other. And you can see as a mayor who is then coordinating all the things, all voluntary initiatives, and he's just saying, okay, what would you like to be in um, the budget for next year? What are the needs? And then she just put on the council and council decide. Um, what also a little bit bigger cities did is they started to run coordination meetings in a local community and everywhere there is always a lot of initiatives who are usually not coordinated between each other. One come with idea of supplying of foods and one coming with idea um, of supplies of food, so just delivery the food who stays in restaurant and one another who stays out of shops. So municipalities are doing more and more that they are the connecting point for all these ideas together. Um, and especially, um, usually these are like the general uh, meetings, but some of them they are like very um, field um, orientated. Like they have the special um, coordination meetings about elderly people. Uh, in the local community, and then all organizations who are working with elderly people, they are coming from the meetings, and they are usually on a monthly uh, basis. Uh, one another point which is um, not really recognized in Slovenia, and probably even not so much uh, abroad, is about that volunteering is not just serving the people is also part of political participation without being in political party. If I see that something is wrong in the city, I can complain, I can be really sad, or I can do something. And volunteers do something. And this is why sometimes then they just go a little bit too far away with their ideas, what everything sh it should be do. But still, they are not, um, in Slovenia, the mechanisms really totally defined how exactly ideas should be communicated to municipality, how needs should be communicated to municipality. There are some coordination meetings that usually get Lost. So this is one huge uh, challenge uh, for Slovenia. We are um, now working on it. Um, the one more thing, because if we are talking about one current in general and what's uh, what's the new in this um, field is also corporate monitoring. Usually we forget about companies. More and more companies in Slovenia started with international companies. The two companies, they are just giving the, uh, not just the nation, but also the people to do something good in local community. For example, um, in Asylum Center, which we are running, we wanted to organize, but then because of some reasons, we will organize it next week. We will organize the, the event when the 15 people from one company will come, they will make all together from this company and asylum seekers uh, wooden uh, chairs for sitting outside. Um, they will repaint it, uh, some things. And what is the really nice thing is that company will pay all costs. They will send people to work there for the people and they will also reduce the cost because this is really cheaper for them like sending the people on one really expensive team building um, which doesn't have any use um, any 
yeah, any higher use or higher value, like just entertaining. So corporate volunteering is something that um, should be developed more. We have been working a little bit on this, but it's also quite hard to organize because sometimes the companies, they just want to send like 30, 50 people and initiatives in Slovenia are quite small and it's really hard to uh, involve all together. But what are really other nice models is that uh, the company you know, just give opportunity to work inside working time for some um, common good and, and to mentor someone. So we have some companies uh, who just gave their professional people to be mentors for asylum seekers and refugees. Um, one thing about the youth and elderly people, we think that uh, education about volunteering should start with youth, but not in the school. It should start in the family. So one thing so which we are developing now is also the family volunteering. <laughs> so that the whole family, that father, mother and children can go together and work on something good. And this is how the child could learn the lessons of, of and get the values. Um, and then of course it's very important that it's incorporated into a school system. Now in Slovenia, it's um, more on a voluntary basis how each school and teacher will organize voluntary activities. They organize a lot, but it's on a voluntary basis and we are still fighting that it will be really part of curriculum. Um, but one thing which we are, uh, one population which is usually forgotten are elderly. We know all together that the society is getting older and older and they still have a lot of ideas and usually they have a lot of time and just what they need are real is the nice invitation and they would like to do something because in Slovenia and in many other countries is to be without work, it means to be meaningless. So also for the people who are without a job, for unemployed people, they are, it's very important to be involved in the voluntary activities. So Slovenia decided um, to give a little award to all people who get the social transfers and that they are volunteers. They get a little bit bigger uh, financial uh, social help um, for 25% if they do um, volunteer work organized in one volunteer organization. Um, just the last thing which I would like to say is that uh, about some more challenges in Slovenia and maybe also here is about connecting all together, about connecting the people, connecting institutions, um, that it will come really effective volunteering. For example, doctors see that someone is coming and complaining about all different sickness, but in fact, that person is not really sick but it's totally bored. So the solution could be volunteering. But in fact, we don't have any real connection with doctors and so on. And doctors, they don't know exactly how to empower people to start volunteering, to do something useful in their life. So these are some challenges which uh, are addressing Slovenia, probably also your country. Uh, and that's to see that being volunteer is part of life. To be this, in, to live solidarity in an organized way or in a non-organized way. We have to, we don't have, we have to be careful that a lot of uh, volunteering happens between people, between friends, inside family. 
not cross-organization. And that is also very important. That is the start. If we will kill that, we could not organize then organize for the world because people will not have these values of helping each other. So we really have to start in family. We have to start with ourselves um, and just to, to know that as my motto is, if you are doing good, it's coming back to you. Good. Thank you for your attention. Um, this is, um, congratulations. I wish you the best. Your flag. <laughs>